Hi lovelies, it's Kia from Carbon Cooking Specialist. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Uh, it's been a really long day for me. To be honest, it's the end of the day now. The sky's getting kind of dark. But really quickly, I wanted to give you um, a few tips to help you guys know how to avoid fines and penalties with the tax man so we don't have them ever again, okay? So penalties obviously is probably one of the biggest worries for business owners um like you don't already have enough to deal with right then you have to worry about maybe missing a filing deadline a filing deadline and then getting a ridiculous penalty four months later yeah it's awful so let's just give you some help to make sure that that does not happen to you uh first and foremost if you ever get a query or question by hmrc for something that's in an account or in a tax return that you've submitted answer those queries as quickly and as thoroughly as possible. Not only does it, it means that it's dealt with faster on their side, but it also shows a lot of goodwill on your part. So if you're being prompt to respond to them, they generally just feel better towards you and will be more likely to help you out as opposed to causing you more problems. Um, second thing that you can do is keep any deadlines that apply to you, so your account year and your filing deadlines, your tax return deadlines, keep them on the calendar or wherever it is that you're going to see regularly and often, somewhere very, very obvious, so you cannot miss that reminder when it's about to come up. Another thing you can do is you can sign up to our newsletter, which I will leave a uh, link to in the description of the video, where we send you monthly reminders anyway. Or if you become a client, then you also get uh, access to our portal where your personal tax reminders and filing reminders will be on there as well. So there's two options there. Uh, next tip will be if you get a chance to appeal or if you're going to appeal any fine and or pen any penalty, then do so very, very quickly. As soon as you receive a penalty, go ahead and appeal it. Like, just as soon as you receive a penalty, go and appeal it. It doesn't matter what it's for. Just appeal it straight away. Do it quickly, do it thoroughly. Again, HMRC prefer for you to be fast to deal with these things. They're going to be more lenient with you. They're going to be more fair. They're not going to be as harsh, okay? this is They're human. This is how they work. Uh, next tip would be to make payments on account or payments in advance when you can for your tax bill. So particularly if you're saving up, um, in advance or monthly anyway, make that payment. Why not? It's just sitting there and it can actually get gain um, interest savings on it from HMRC anyway. So you might as well pay it. But what happens is when you make payments on the account, first of all, it reduces your risk of you missing your deadline because you've already got money sitting in the account, sitting there already for the tax, right? So self-assessment does this now anyway. It asks you to pay 50% in advance in January for the following year and then in June for the following year and then when you do your your tax return, you make an adjustment if you need to pay a little bit more or a little bit, or they need to owe you some, right? But this one, you can also do this for other taxes as well. And going forward, they're going to be making it a lot easier so that pretty much everybody can make payments on account one way or another. But the second thing is, even if you make payments of account only up to like 50% of what your tax bill is due, and then you happen to miss your deadline, they're still a lot more fair about it. They can already see that you've made efforts to do the right thing and that you're not trying to um, corrupt the system or anything like that. So generally, they are just a lot more forgiving if you've already said, look, I've already made made a small payment. Hands up, I know I messed up, but you know I've already made a small payment, so please. And they're like, okay, fair enough. Honestly, try it. I've done it. <laughs> so um, And last but not least, use online submissions as opposed to paper submissions. Here, this is a little bugbear with HMRC. If you send in this, I know this from, from experience from a while ago, you're sending in a, a paper submission and you've done your bit and you, even if you had like track delivery or something like that and it's reached their offices and they've lost it, you will still get fined, which is baffling, right? But with a, just do an online submission, there's no excuse for paper submissions anymore, do it online because you get an online, um, submission code like a track like a tracking code a reference code and then you also get confirmation email as well so you've got your paper job to prove that you've done what you need to do uh so yeah that's my tips for you guys i'm sorry i think that might have been a little bit um garbled and jumbled up but i am very tired and my eyes are killing me so i'm gonna like go and grab a coffee and then maybe go to sleep real soon okay i hope you had a lovely day guys and i'll see you later bye